Hi everyone! So for today's video, we will be talking about thoracic and lumbar range of motion and leg length discrepancy. Hi sir! Good day! I am Dodi Arma sir and I am your physical therapist for today. How are you now sir? I'm fine. Okay. So I'm going to measure the amount of movement that you have at your upper and lower back sir. Over here, this one is what we call the thoracolumbar region, sir, to see if it differs from what is normally expected. And para po natin magawa yun, sir, we will be using a tape measure and a goniometer. This one is similar to a protractor, however, it has two arms. This one is our stationary arm, and this one is our movable arm. So, ganito siya ginagamit, sir. Pag i-move nat, i-bend natin to ng ganito, i-move din natin to ng ganito, and then we will record the value here. However, in our case today, I'm going to use this, I'm going to place this on the outside of your body next to your back. And para po sir accurate yung measurement natin, I may have to locate some anatomical landmarks. And to do that po sir, I may have to press my fingers firmly on your skin, and also I may have to ask you as well, to remove your shirt. Okay lang po ba yun, sir? Okay, sige. So, that's it. May mga tanong pa po ba kayo, sir? Okay, are you ready to begin, sir? Okay. So, first is thoracolumbar rotation. Our patient is sitting with feet on the floor to help stabilize the pelvis. And then, we need to use a chair without back support so that spine can rotate freely. So, ganito po ang gagawin niyo, sir. You have to keep your body relaxed pero straight lang, sir. Tapos, you have to turn your body to one side as far as possible. Ganito, sir. Keeping your feet flat on the floor. So, we'll be using a goniometer and this is the fulcrum. Center the fulcrum over the cranial aspect of the patient's head. Align the stationary arm parallel to the imaginary line between two prominent tubercles of the iliac crest. Align the movable arm with the imaginary line between two acromial process. This is the acromial process, the highest point of the shoulder. Next is take the initial recording. So we begin at zero degree. Stabilize the pelvis to prevent rotation. Next is let the patient do the motion. Sige sir. And then place again the goniometer and take the next recording. Next is do the passive range of motion. Sir, you push ko pa ikaw, sir, ha? So, wala ko may maulol. And then take the recording. And then determine the end field. It is usually firm. So, sir, ang gagawin po natin is Dahan-dahan po tayong magbe-bend forward. Dahan-dahan. Pagano'n, sir. Remember to stabilize the pelvis to prevent anterior tilting. So our landmark should be from the spinous process of C7 and spinous process of S2. Ito yung C7, yung prominent part here. Okay, sir. Balik na, sir. And then, yung S2 is nasa posterior superior iliac spine or kung may nakikita kang dimple dyan, that's what we call the dimple of Venus, yan yung ating S2. Why S2? Because S2 is easier to locate than S1. And then, take the initial measurement, so it's 50 cm. And then, ask your patient to bend gradually, and then, remember to let the tape measure accommodate the motion while stabilizing the pelvis. Okay, sir, dandan po tayo mag-bend forward. Okay, we have 60. Then, we move ko po siya passively, sir, by applying over pressure. Okay. Okay na. Nakuha natin yung measurement. It's 61. So, ang ating end feel ay firm. So, we have an alternative way to measure the thoracolumbar flexion. And that is through fingertip to floor. But this can only be used to assess general body flexibility because it is a combination of hip and spinal Flexion, making it difficult to isolate the motion. So, sir, ang gawin po natin, ganun pa rin, mag-bend po tayo forward, gradually, hanggang sa kaya natin maabot yung uh, floor. 
Tapos i-measure ko po siya mamaya sir kung ano yung distance. Okay. okay. And then we don't need to provide stabilization here. Okay, sir, sige po. Okay, sir. Next is thoracolumbar extension. So, kailangan natin i-stabilize ang pelvis to prevent posterior tilting. Sir, you have to bend backward naman ngayon. Kung kaya na forward ngayon, backward naman ang pag-bend mo, sir. We need to use the same landmark, the C7 and the S2 spinous process. Measure or take the initial measurement. It's 50. And then, stabilize. And then, sige sir, bend ng dahan-dahan. Okay. And then, ako naman, ipapasive ko siya. Okay, sir. Next is thoracolumbar lateral flexion. So, the same position, but our stabilization is to prevent the pelvis from lateral tilting. So, our landmark the fulcrum should be placed over the spinous process of S2 and then the movable arm should be aligned with the spinous process of C7 and then the stationary arm should be perpendicular to the ground. So first, take the initial measurement. We begin at 0 degree. Okay sir, bend to the side. And then take the measurement, and then passive. And then take the initial measure, the next measurement. Okay. And then to the other side, sir. And then measure it. Okay, sir. And then the end feel is firm. We have an alternative to thoracolumbar lateral flexion and that is fingertips to the floor. So the same way earlier, we need to measure the distance between the middle finger of the patient and the floor. So I want you, sir, to do the same thing. Bend to the side as if you're reaching your leg. Kung saan lang kaya mo, sir. Okay, sir, bend to your left side. Okay. And to your right side. And then measure it using tape measure. It's 35 centimeter. The same way here, it's 35. Next is finger tip to thigh. So our patient is standing with back against the wall and then with feet and shoulder width apart. And then, the same way, the patient will bend to this side, sir, magbe-bend ka po to this side, and then I will measure the distance, sir, between kung saan nag-rest ngayon yung middle finger mo, and then kung saan yung kaya niyang maabot mamaya. Okay, sir, bend to your right side. To your left side. It's 20 centimeter. And it's 22 centimeter here. Next is lumbar flexion, and we'll be using the simplified skin destruction test. First thing to do is to mark the spinous process of S2. Mark the S2, and then you have to mark 15 centimeter above the first mark. This one. And then stabilize the pelvis to prevent anterior tilting. Okay, sir, bend forward. It is 23 centimeter. Subtract it to 15, it's 8 centimeter. Next is lumbar extension. Remember to stabilize the pelvis to prevent posterior tilting. And then ask your patient to bend backward. Okay, sir, bend po kita backward. And then... So we have 12 cm. Next is we have leg length discrepancy. There are two types. We have true leg length discrepancy and apparent leg length discrepancy. To measure true leg length discrepancy, the patient should be supine and lower extremities should be 15 to 20 cm width apart. And then you have to use tape measure, locate the anterior superior iliac spine over here as our landmark 
and then up to the medial malleolus of the patient. And then record the initial measurement. It's 89 centimeter. And then do the same on the other side. It's 89 centimeter. To measure the apparent leg length discrepancy the same way, but our landmark should be at the umbilicus of the patient to the medial malleolus. So it's 95. The same way to the other side, it's um, 95. So you have to find the difference between the two measurements. A normal difference is 1 to 1.3 centimeter. So that's it po. Maraming salamat po sa panonood.